So my name is Andrea Delgado. And I'm Jessica Fletcher. And we're both master's students in Latin American studies here at Vanderbilt. And we were also the Hilguera Colombiana Library Fellows, and we're going to talk a little bit about our experience working with the project this semester. So the Hilguera Colombiana collection is a unique resource housed at Vanderbilt University Library. Uh, the collection consists of thousands of primary documents from Colombia from the 17th to 20th centuries. Uh, they cover a wide range of topics from politics and economics to arts and culture. And many of these unique primary sources are publicly available on the searchable database um, that has been armed over the years by library fellows and others that work at the library. And you can search by date, type, and subject, and um, again, makes a lot of the local collections here at the library available to a broader audience. Um, and so as library fellows this semester, Jessica and I have had the opportunity to work hands-on with the rare primary documents included in the Helgera collection. And we focus on sources from the time period of early independence between 1790 and 1830 in Colombia and Nueva Granada. And working with the collection, we selected important key sources uh, that fit into some main themes that were of interest to us. And in the process, we composed some um, these four thematic essays about the relevant topics using the resources in the database and made this digital exhibit in an attempt to complement the searchable public database and also feature some of the most unique holdings in the library collection. Um, yes, and so as I went through the Helgera collection, documents involving the history of early print and the life and work of scientist Francisco Jose de Caldas uh, drew my interest. I developed these topics into thematic essays on the online exhibit. In my first essay um, on Francisco Jose de Caldas, I, in my second essay, sorry, um, I looked at the life and works of Francisco Jose de Caldas and his contributions to the fields of scientific exploration in Colombia. During the 19th century, exploration in nature and the sciences developed in new and different ways, and Caldas joined the growing movement of exploration as a self-taught scientist and botanist. He worked with prominent figures in the field and served as the director of the National Observatory and participated in the Royal Botanical Expedition of New Granada. Caldas also made strides in discovery and invention as well and discovered a new method to determine altitude based on boiling water at different elevations. In addition to his roles in the sciences, Caldas was an important figure in the independence movement as well in Colombia and wrote a patriotic journal on scientific exploration and served as in military roles. For an example of one of the documents that I digitized for this project, we have um, an original manuscript from his expedi expedition in 1810. This manuscript is a set of field notes from an expedition that Caldas and two of his assistants took in 1800 through Popayan, in which he discovered the new method for determining altitude by boiling water at different elevations. In the manuscript, the author notes observations about the landscape, indigenous groups, and mathematical calculations for the new method. Many of the notes and letters by Caldas have been lost, including the notes from this expedition. We have not found evidence of these notes elsewhere, and we are hoping that this manuscript will be useful in better understanding his contributions to the scientific field. In my other thematic essay, I studied the history of print in early Columbia. In this essay on early print, I examined the history of printing in the region from the late 18th to early 19th centuries. Until the late 1700s, the Society of Jesus, or the Jesuits, played a significant role in the development of printing in Colombia. However, the Spanish crown ordered the expulsion of the Jesuits in 1773 due to suspicions of disloyalty. And as a result, new printers in Colombia emerged. The field of print in Colombia underwent significant changes and printing presses became increasingly linked to social and cultural movements like independence. For an example of one of the documents that I had digitized and studied, this 1810 document is a novena. Novenas were prayer <coughs> booklets that included religious dictations and devotions. This particular novena was printed by Diego de los Monteros, who became an important figure in early printing and worked with Antonio Nariño, who some called the precursor to independence at the Imprenta Patriotica, or Patriotic Press. Many of the printed materials from this time period were religious, 
and in this novena, we can see the preponderance of religious theme printing during this time period. I, so while I was going through the library collections, I became interested in two themes as well. One was early medicine vaccinations in Colombia, and the other was Antonio José de Sucre, an important figure in Colombian campaigns for independence. So first about early medicine, um, I focused on smallpox because I found a lot of newspaper and gazettes and announcements talking about the smallpox epidemic, methods for um, preventing further contagion, and how to address the new epidemics facing the early 19th century in Nueva Granada. Um, so smallpox was first brought to the New World by the conquistadors in the 16th century, and um, outbreaks were coming back again in the end of the 18th century and were spreading quickly in the urban centers in Nueva Granada. And in order to address this issue, the government took a number of actions. They established isolation hospitals, which were announced in this newspaper that I came across. And these isolation hospitals were established to prevent further contagion. And after Edward Jenner's vaccine for smallpox became available, uh, vaccination campaigns were held in many cities across Nueva Granada, such as Bogota, Quito, Popayan, and Cuenca. And there's another, I found another gazette that had a list of where and when these vaccination campaigns would be available to the public. And my second essay focused on Antonio Jose de Sucre, who was one of the great defenders of freedom in Nueva Granada. And he was Simon Bolivar's favorite lieutenant and led a numerous military campaigns in the fight for Colombian and Peruvian and Ecuadorian independence. Um, the highlight of his career was the Battle of Ayacucho on December 9th, 1824, which we came across the Suplemento to the Gaceta that has a dynamic retelling of the every event of the Battle of Ayacucho and his strategic maneuverings to beat the Spanish royalists. And so the Helguera collection, um, we also found an obituary of Sucre that reviews all of his life accomplishments and praises him with passionate language that as a literature person, I enjoyed reading how people talk about their um, heroes and, and the defenders of liberty. So um, in researching these two topics using the primary sources, I really enjoyed um, seeing how information was transmitted in the early period of Columbia before the age of digital technology and Google um, newspapers, gazettes, and announcements were vital to distributing information to the public to convey what the government is doing, maybe what they should be doing. Um, so I enjoyed reading the written word to study about the past because I'm also an anthropologist and I'm used to working with human subjects and ancient artifacts to learn about the past. So it was a great experiment for me to learn about the past through the written word and published documents. Um, and as a historian myself, it was a thrilling opportunity to um, really have hands-on experience with primary sources up close. I gained valuable archival skills through this fellowship that helped me to better understand how to handle and read 19th century documents from Columbia. Overall, we really enjoyed learning about Columbia in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, the significance of its independence movement, and key figures and events in its history. Examining materials in the Helguera collection provided a great opportunity to gain important knowledge about the handling of archival materials and paleographic strategies uh, for reading manuscripts as well. The experiences we gained working as library fellows in the Helguera collection provided us with a foundation of skills that will assist us in our futures as we continue in our graduate work in Latin American studies. Thank you.